Hey there, fellows. Okay, so today we continue working on this trooper of Alada. I am sure you all remember from last time that we've already converted it to four-wheel drive, though we haven't gotten around to testing it yet. Let me remind you why we didn't go for a test drive last time. It's as if this thing used to be inhabited by a colony of termites, so driving around in it is outright dangerous, plain and simple. You can easily fall out through that rusted floor. There's pretty much nothing left on the driver's side. The frame rails, the box sections, they're all completely rusted to the core. So yeah, we've got a ton of welding to do here. I suggest we restore the shell as quickly as we can, get it into somewhat decent shape, so that we can at least drive around without any serious worries. And, well, head out and see what she can do. I'm especially keen to find out what it can do off-road. Alright, let's do this. Testing the four-wheel drive converted Lada. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Here's what's poppin', fellas. I'd say we did a fantastic job. Looks awesome. We've got some fresh floor panels happening, box sections, the works. At least now the floor is able to hold the rocker panels in place. We've placed and welded everything up, installed a seat, it's all very nice. We are good to go. Now, you guys do remember what sort of four-wheel drive configuration we're running, right? It's basically a full-time system with all four wheels spinning at the same rate. I do remember someone asking in the comments whether we calculated the transmission ratios. Indeed we did, so don't you worry about that. We rolled it around after putting it together, and at a quick glance it looks like all four wheels are rotating evenly. No slippage or anything like that. We rolled it over a wet surface and saw that the tires leave perfect tread marks. So it doesn't look like we have any problems with the transmission ratios. So yeah, it's all good. And now... Oh man, I am so keen. I want to see what it can do off-road. Let's have a go, shall we? Okay, here we are. Because race car. We are ready to do some testing. What the hell? Oh yeah, man, totally. It ain't having it.
just make sure to give it some more gas. Looking good. Hell yeah. Just don't stop. Aw oh, man, this is scary. Oh, pipe down, will ya? We'll be fine. Give it some beans, man. This is terrifying. We made it. Now that's what I call some quality off-roading. Maybe we should flip around. Yeah, sure. Alright, so in order for us to slightly improve this thing's off-road abilities, we've installed a different set of wheels. You might remember we tried them out a while back, and they worked wonders then. Since we are running a rather light rear axle, we've decided to get a bit more mechanical grip going. Now I reckon... This thing's gonna be unstoppable. Let's try it out. And there you have it. We're doing great. Wait a minute. Check that out. We are being followed by a Land Rover. Has he no fear at all or what? The other question is, will he make it? We did make a path. Well, yeah, we did make three runs back and forth. Oh man, he's hustling like it's nobody's business. It's pretty much a road at this point. Not bad at all. Oh, isn't he cheeky? He's about to drive through the fresh snow. Should I move forward? He's got plenty of room. Okay then. This isn't working. What's up, man? Maybe it's too heavy with me in it. Oh, come on, the more weight the better. Are you seeing this? How did this happen? Turning the wheel isn't going to change anything. It's not going to help. Looks like we've bottomed out. Turn the wheels to the left. Yeah, we're stuck. Just a bit more. Yeah, you're right. Great. This is one very light car. We were easily able to lift it by the back end. Oh, it looks like the fans have come out to join us. Mm, yeah, I guess.
Yeah, we're done. Come on. Come on, boy. Go ahead. Oh man, what is it with you? Half of them just went through while the other... Go. Go ahead, buddy. There you go. boy. Anyway, here's the situation. Something bad has obviously just happened. It feels as if we've sheared off the splines. So we'll push the car back to the shed and see what exactly is broken. Then we evaluate the situation from there. Here's what we're looking at, fellas. We just brought the car in and got it onto a hoist. And here's what's broken. This piece of the transfer case housing, which we added onto the car, it has taken a serious beating. The teeth on the planetary gear are completely rooted. So yeah, at the end of the day, the transfer case let go and blew to pieces. I see a few reasons why this could have happened. If the rear diff hadn't been welded up, this transfer case wouldn't have been under such tremendous load, and it would have happily continued living. As for the other factor, it was all good while we were running normal tires, but as soon as we installed those tractor wheels, all of a sudden the rear axle had lots more grip, which increased the load on the driveline. And due to that increased stress, the transfer case grenaded. Which isn't ideal, of course, but the car did put on a fantastic show. The way it ripped through that snow. The spots where that Range Rover was getting stuck, this thing was flying. Then again, I mean, yeah, we did plant it under the axle a few times due to a lack of ground clearance. The underbody and gearbox were also an issue. However, you gotta love how this thing drives. It is pretty awesome. Anyway, that's all I have for you fellas. This was quite a successful experiment. At the very least, we found out how this car drives through the snow. It handled that beautifully. You guys watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.